Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to be opening up some packages from my recent art supply haul. I have one more box down here. It's quite big, but yet it only had a few things in it, which is kind of funny. And those bags have some bigger things in it, which probably should have went in the box. Doesn't make any sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with this first bag. All right, so the first thing out of the bag are these Hemi brushes. And I don't know much about Hemi, but they're very cute. They have brushes, they have gouache, they have watercolor, um, adorable. And I have a problem with needing to buy everything that has a bird on it. If it has a bird on it, I want it. I don't care if the reviews say it sucks, it needs to live in my studio. I don't, I have no idea why. It's just a minor obsession that I have. And these have a bird on it. And the coolest thing about this is that they're, they're packed in a nest. Like, you know, I have a background in, in marketing and design. I run my own digital marketing agency. And I love it when art supplies or different things I get have really great marketing. And I think this is great marketing. Let's pack our brushes and put them in a nest, make them feel, you know, all cozy and nice. I think as artists, we love our art supplies and they're very nurturing to a lot of us, very supportive. Yeah, and I feel like this is kind of the same thing, very nurturing, very supported. So I will do a review on these in the future but they're teal and they're cute and they have different colors. I'll make sure to link them below. They have pink, pale blue, yellow, and this teal. And I did check the reviews before I purchased them. Again, I told you it doesn't matter. Like if it had a bird on it and it was reasonably, pre reasonably priced, I'm gonna buy it. And these were very reasonably priced, like ridiculously reasonably priced. And there was nothing but amazing reviews online about them on Amazon. So I'll link them below if you want to get yourself a set and that sounds fun to you. Okay, so you have this box over here. Let's grab it on a close out my name. So this comes from Hyatt's All Things Creative, but I got this on Amazon. It's one of the stores I like the most there. So let's Okay. So this is M. Graham. This is a nice cobalt teal blue. And I've never tried any M. Graham stuff. The only M. Graham thing that I have is gouache. And it's these little teeny tiny tubes that are almost empty that my partner gave to me because he didn't like it. He said he didn't like the texture. It was very sticky. And I've heard that they put honey in things. So that would make sense. But I've also heard from so many other people that I watch on YouTube or artists that I know that they are like in love with M. Graham or they, you know, have this affinity towards a certain watercolor or a certain gouache. And this is one of the top ones. So just like I like everything birds, I like everything teal, teal, teal blue, teal green. You know, I obviously use the word teal simultaneously to me and anything within the blue green family. So, you know, I know this isn't really a teal, but it is a teal. And some people might call that a teal, but not really a teal. So anyway, now I'm rambling because there's no action. I mean, there is, if you Google online teal, like what exactly is teal? I'm sure you can get, you know, a Pantone color or something perfect, but I just use the word teal often to mean anything that's a blue green that's not dark because <laughs> then you're, you know, you're looking at like other colors. Okay, now I'm rambling. So we're gonna move this over here. We're gonna move this over here. We like teal, we like birds, we got that. All right, in this box, which was very surprising to me, was, um, as you can see, two brushes, some more brushes, and this little package. 
for this whole entire box, like, did they really need to ship me a box that could fit, like, five pairs of shoes in it? I don't think so. And, like I said, over here in these packages on the side, I've got things that are bigger than that, more expensive than that, should have been protected, and were thrown in bags. So, you never know with Amazon. All right, first off are these purple, I'm not even going to try to say the name, I'm just not going to do it. They are beautiful. I'm looking for, or I was looking for, and now I have, brushes for ink. I have been starting to use ink a lot more, and I've been using my watercolor brushes, and I've noticed that I'm damaging them. Like, it's not, I mean, not that you can't use ink on watercolor brushes, but it's, it's just, I need ink brushes. Ones that, if I don't wash it thoroughly, or it's washed pretty good, I'm going to stick it back in to my black ink again. I'm trying to see if it's sitting anywhere. Oh, it's over here. I can just fill this up again with black ink, and then continue to do it with the watercolor brushes, though, because I use them, and I use them with gouache, and I use them, and they use light colors. If there's any remnants of ink left in those brushes, it's just gonna ruin things so it's it's inks hard to get off as you know and watercolor is not as difficult to get off a brush so I also didn't want to get expensive brushes because truly I don't want to spend the time to clean the ink off the brush like to the extreme because if you were to get ink on one of these brushes you would probably have to soap it and wash it 10 to 15 times to actually get it out of the ferrule and to get that water clean like if you're taking a brush and let's see let me grab another one you're taking a brush you're putting soap and you're doing this on your hand that water's not going to be clean until you do it about 10 times minimally so i don't want to i don't want to do it till it's completely clean so i figured why not get a cheap thing of brushes i think they were six dollars i like the color purple and if they suck they suck the reviews were really great though kind of like these they were they were good no complaints i didn't see anybody say oh, that sucks all right, move this off to the side over here. So the next thing is I purchased these quills. In another video, I bought a smaller quill. This one and this one are obviously very big. You're looking at, let's see, let's pull them out of these, they're bags. You're looking at, you know, a, a 240 here, and you're looking at a 160. I like to paint big backgrounds and truly the only brush I have for that is this. I have a quill somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. I was trying to look for it a second ago, but I couldn't find it. Wait, is this it? Oh, here it is. Okay. So I have this one, but it just doesn't cover enough area. And some pieces that I do are as big as 11 by 14 and sometimes a little bit bigger than that. So I'm needing to be able to cover a greater area. And they were really cheap, truly, for a brush this like wood and thick and big. I mean, you're looking at like 20, 30 bucks. And these I paid, I think I paid 11 or 12 for this and I paid like 16, 17 for this. They were having a pretty good deal. Now, people will say when they get, the only complaint, this is stuck, uh, the only complaint I saw on Amazon from people was that this was really hard when they got it. So if you don't know this, and you probably already do, typically they put Arabic gum at the tips to keep the shape. And all you have to do is put it in water. They don't put a ton of Arabic gum in them. The water will fix it really quickly. And if not, it'll take like, I don't know, 60 seconds to, to two minutes at most to get it to break up. So the complaining is a little silly to me, but that's the that's what you see on the Amazon review. And it's true, like these are hard. Like you probably could tell I'm like trying to bend this like really difficult. And that's good because it means in shipping, my brush is gonna come in good condition. All right, I'm not gonna put this back on now because the hairs are kind of sticking off and I don't wanna bend any back. And I'm gonna leave this one in here until I'm ready to break it down. Same thing very hard. Nice brushes though. Nice brushes to add to the collection. Or you can you can play the drums if you want. What do they call those things? They're not drums. Oh, what do they call them? 
where you hit the wood. Okay, that's very annoying. Anyway, <laughs> they put the wood pieces together. You know, they make the sounds. I think it's a kid thing. I play them as adults. All right, let's grab this other bag. I have two more bags. One of which, well, actually both of which, um, I knew what they were before I'm opening them because I can feel it. And I was like, why would they stick this in this bag? Let me cut this open here. So first off is this Holbein gouache, which has come a little ripped up. I mean, they threw it in a bag. I mean, it's fine, but it's still, it wasn't to handle the very nicely. Okay. Mm, I guess we could take that off. So take that off. So Holbein just came out with these. They are per season, uh, ir iridori gouache. So they have uh, spring, summer, fall, spring, summer, fall, winter. And this is summer. These are not any gouaches that came in any other sets. These are 100% new. Uh, colors that they came out with, new sets, just gorgeous. Okay, here, here they are. So you have the spring, spring, autumn, summer, and winter. And they're all different. All right. I will be doing a review on these and I will make sure to post that below when I do. And the next bag is bigger than that, but ta-da, wait, is there something else in it? Sometimes I feel like I lose things. Is the same thing, but spring. Came in a different bag. Actually, this, is, this one's taped on the bottom. Unlike the other one, that was kind of, oh, I don't want to rip the box. Don't want to rip it. Let's not rip it. Look, it has a bird on it. Birds. All right, beautiful colors. Let's open them next to each other. get you in the frame. I mean, look at that. Mm. Just gorgeous. Have a nice teal color here. A nice lime green. Let's see what we have here. Edo violet. I cannot pronounce this. No. Uh, bellflower. I was looking at the Japanese word and I was like, I can't say that. But I realized that it also has English. Uh, vermilion. What a sweet pink. Pale coral. And I feel like they kind of came smashed a bit. I'm glad that the tubes weren't smashed. I mean, I can't believe they threw this in a bag. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. But Amazon does that. If you buy our supplies from Amazon, you will recognize that they throw like glass in bags. They throw one brush in a shoe box. It just really depends on, I guess, who's, who's dealing with it. All right, so these are amazing. I'm very excited. You have no idea. I will be doing a review on these. I cannot wait to get the other, let's put them in view, the other two, two sets at some point, but just beautiful. Oh, and I did buy one more thing. You guys saw the little yellow bag in the bottom. I did get an independent one all by itself because I have not used the squash as in like my own. My partner, this is what he uses exclusively and I've been stealing it lately because, um, because I can, and that's, you know, a long story, but I was allergic to most art supplies and now I'm not. And gouache is one of those things that I've found that I'm not severely, deathly allergic to, which is exciting. 
and uh, I love them. And so he's always so kind. You can borrow whatever you want out of mine. And I'm like, I need to buy my own. But here's a great thing about it. I bought them and he doesn't have these, but I will, I will share these with him too. So, but no one had this magenta in here. And so I wanted a magenta color because I love this color too. So I thought that works really well. All right, that is all for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I absolutely love sharing um, art hauls with you and unboxing with you and swatching with you and reviews with you. I love uh, doing all of that. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Uh, if you want to stick around, subscribe and they'll notify you uh, about videos that are coming out. I think I have about 25 videos that I've recorded that are like on the block to be edited. So there's a ton more content coming out, which is very exciting. So thank you for being here and being a part of my little channel. And I look forward to seeing you again really soon.